right, listeners, welcome back to the Peggy Smedley Show. We're going to continue on and have some great discussions today coming to you live from CES. And my next guest is YC Chung, and you are the CEO of Lubin. Welcome. Thank you, Peggy. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, thank you for inviting me here. So I'm excited to have you on the show to really talk about a new discu- uh, what you guys are doing and have a great discussion talking about helping property managers. I think this is exciting. Let's talk about what you guys are doing and, and help me understand what Lubin is all about. That's right. And so Lubin is basically a remote access control platform uh, connecting the property managers, uh, the guests, and the service providers. Uh, based on the schedule and what we are trying to do is to help the property managers uh, being able to remotely manage the property on demand. And so we really want to give the freedom back to people who are managing the properties so that they can focus on, you know, since that's more meaningful to them, um, you know, we want property managers to focus, focus on the management part and less about the chores. So this is ex- it really interesting because what made you decide to start Lubin to help property managers? It's not traditionally something most people would think of and it's a great niche market because we think about a lot of different ways property managers and security and you think about that is very important nowadays. That's right. And so really it, it, start, it, be- it all begins with my personal problem. Right. So um, about three years ago, I was still working in Microsoft um, and I was struggling between several different areas. One is, uh, you know, being a love, loving father. Uh, the second is I have to lead the design effort in Microsoft. And last, I have to be a responsive property m- uh, managers uh, to manage my own properties. So I thought it's really difficult and over the time, you know, I had to uh, sacrifice the quality time with my family. Um, since I was in tech industry, I thought, you know, why not try to solve this problem by technology? Um, and so, you know, I, could, I, you know, I talked to my co-founders at the time, we are friends and several different like real estate professionals, property managers, B&B hosts. Um, you know, the result were consistent. People were looking for uh, flexible solutions to help them manage people's in and out to the properties on demand. So together with my co-founders, we start Lubin. We built the first, uh, I think there will be, uh, Lubin box is the world's first 4G smart key box that helps connect uh, the property managers, um, the, the guests and the service providers. So talk to us about this platform that you have now, because is when will you, first of all, when will you have, describe the platform, I guess That's I right. want to know, and when will you have it available? Because I find it interesting because it's saving time, it's making sure something's secure, and you know when people are there, and I'm kind of curious about when you'll you'll be able to have this. That's right. Uh, and so, uh, so when we talk about uh, Lubin, Lubin is actually comprised three different parts. The first part is the device, we call it Lubin Box. It's a 4G smart key box that can keep the keys of the property uh, safely in the device and only released to the, the guests who were invited by the property managers. And the managers can use the, our app, Lubin app, to manage uh, the booking as well as receive the smart analysis for, you know, regarding to their business performance and help them to make the right business decisions. Uh, and last but not least, perhaps it's the most important part is our cloud system can automatically message the service providers upon the guest checked out event. So as soon as the guest check out, you know, our system, our platform understand this is a checkout event and we will notify the next service providers come service the property, whether that's uh, a cleaning service or plumbers, we will notify based on your decision. So you're actually making this not only available for property managers, but for the convenience of the guests as well. Think about that. I, what I'm thinking about, I just took a vacation and we were in Europe and the time we arrived, we had to wait to see if we could get our keys. And I'm thinking about this, what a great way for like an Airbnb that now I didn't have to wait to find out when they were open to get my keys. I can get that and they can make those available right then and there. Is that going to make that kind of convenience as well? Thank you, Peggy. I think that's a great point. So uh, the way we look at Lubin is it's essentially a concierge service, right? So 24 hours is a, 
uh, it's all automated. Um, you as a property managers doesn't have to be physically always around your properties. Where were you when we were on our vacation? Where were you? <laughs> uh, and then, you know, I would be everywhere, right? So, so what's good, what's great about our platform is it knows exactly where your property is located uh, once you install it, right? Um, say, for example, that your property is in New York and r right now you're traveling to Seattle, time difference, right? And you want to make sure your guest is checking at the New York time, not in your current time zone. So we all have that figured out. So when you look at this, now that you'll have it, will it be available? What's your operating system you'll do? Is it Windows? What do you, what do you have? And so uh, we You're are- a Microsoft, that's former right. Microsoft uh, guy, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we, we actually build our products. Uh, you know, it's basically, it, it's, it's it, it entirely internet of the things. So our device itself is, it's pretty lean. Cloud like it, It's very lean. There is not much like uh, computing power inside the device. What we are trying to do is the device essentially connect to the internet, uh, and all of our brain, as uh, say our brain or intelligence are, uh, you know, are in the cloud. And so every time we receive data from the the device, our cloud system will do its math, comp you know, do the computing and spits out the, the data back to the device and make sure that uh, the guest uh, is the right guest who are trying to check in the properties. How do you make sure the security? Are you using Azure? What are you using for security to make sure of that? So uh, the way we, the security part, we have two different parts, right? So the first part is the digital part, right? Uh, we call it three layer verification. So every time guests check in, they don't, you know, for the visitors, they don't need to install uh, a specific apps. They just need to dial the phone numbers to our cloud system, and our cloud system will verify, you know, whether he or she is checking in during the scheduled time. Uh, is she or he is dialing the numbers from the right phone, right? The third is because our system has a pool of phone numbers and our cloud system will randomly select the phone numbers for the visitors to call. So that's like the three layers of verifications that we're offering to our customers. And we want to make sure that you know, every check-in is safe. If you are not the right visitors arriving at the right time, I'm sorry, you won't be able to uh, get the keys. But if you are the right visitors or the guests per se, um, we will send you the greeting through your phone you are here, you know, we are welcoming to we're welcoming you to visit the properties as well as release the keys so you can, you know, you can stay in the properties for whatever schedule. Will you then have an app available between everything? So I was kidding about, you know, Microsoft, but will you that's have right. an app that's available for Android, Apple, everything that that's you want? That's right. And so our Android app is actually up in the Android Play store. Um, and our iOS app uh, so right now our production is at the DV phase. We call it design verification. Uh, we need to send a device to Apple and then they will release the app. Otherwise right now we basically have two apps available, Apple and Android, iOS app and Android app available. But iOS app, we probably need to wait a little bit more, but we are expecting to ship our first batch uh, in early spring. Um, so uh, I'm so happy to talk about this. So when will you have, you said spring, when will you actually have your product available in pricing? What are we talking about pricing and making it available? That's right, so um, I'm, I'm so glad you talked about this. So um, for we are so happy to be here, announce uh, that our we are going to start our pre-order process um, in CES. Uh, for the first 50 customers, uh, we are offering a, a 12 months free subscription and the device is just $199. And we are shipping, uh, we are looking at the time frame between uh, end of March or early April. So will you be mainly targeting just the property man managers right now? Is that going to be your target? Will you then be looking to go after real estate organizations? Who will you really main, you main your target right now? That's right, and so right now our main focus are uh, you know the realtors because we understand that you know realtors has their own machines uh, when they have the properties on sale they have their machines but when I talk to a lot of my realtor friends they said hey you know what when we get the property ready uh, 
we need to hire a lot of contractors to get in and out to the property and make sure the property is ready uh, to be sell on the market. Uh, and right now on the market, there's nothing that they can use. They still use, they still use the old school way, which is the analog uh, key box to manage the contractors in and out. Uh, it's very inconvenient for them because every time they they need to, our realtors friends needs to change the passcode uh, back and forth. Uh, it's really inconvenient. Um, and so, yeah, you know, looking forward to see our products on the market. Uh, in addition, there are a lot of Airbnb hosts. Uh, they are really wanting to see and try our products. Um, there are uh, some other like service providers, like pet services. They they also interested in looking into this. How about in time? Do you see yourself going after like the construction industry, residential builders who have, you know, project developments and things like that? That's right. And so, in general, we can look at this as. Uh, uh, you know, a contractor sort of uh, device or tool to ma to basically help the ma general contractors manage their, uh, you know, the individual contractors like painters or plumbers in and out to the constructions. Um, and they, you know, they don't need to worry about whether they have the traditional door locks installed or smart lock installed. Uh, they just, they can just use this tool. What's the biggest challenge that you're having with bringing a product like this compared to other you know, locks that are out there right now. Yeah, uh, and so, and I think a lot of people like to uh, think us into this smart lock sort of category, and I think that's that's fair. Um, and when we look at ourselves, we feel like, okay, um, smart lock is great market, it's huge, but we are focusing our, on our own niche, which is, you know, we are 4G solutions, we don't need to have a Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, so when it's perfect for the properties uh, that's ready for sale because when you have the property on sale you probably don't have the Wi-Fi connected um, and so that's pretty much uh, where we are targeting at we think we are a great complement to the smart lock or smart ecosystem um, and so when you think about the smart ecosystems you know how can the property or how can this be smart when you cannot have a smart way to get into the property so looking at this now, you've come out with this. What do you feel about what's the response been right now? Oh, I think the, the, the demand is pretty high. A lot of people are interested in our products. They you know, came to our booth, talk to us, subscribe our news. Uh, and a lot of time when I look at the, you know, our, our fans per se, um, I was surprised that you know, people are coming from different industry are interested in, in, this, in these kind of solutions. Uh, like I said, like you know, general contractors, realtors, uh, property managers, uh, or even pet service. Well, I think it's exciting. Where can our listeners go and our viewers right now? What's your URL so they can go up and be a part of that? You know, that's first right. Group? That's right. And so come visit our website at lubn.com, l-u-b-n.com, uh, and subscribe our news, or you can check out our Facebook, Lubn SS. Uh, there, there are a lot of exciting uh, videos or image of our products. Uh, we will have more information updated on our website. So come check out our website. Thank you. Yeah. I think that's great. I think it's wonderful. I Thank appreciate you. you coming by. Um, and in the meantime, if you have any questions, you want us to ask anything, you can tweet at me at ConnectedWMag or Peggy underscore Smedley. And we appreciate you sticking around. We've got more. Remember, the Peggy Smedley Show is regularly broadcast at 12 noon uh, I, at regularly so you can always check us out but we're going to continue to do more in the meantime check out our website and check out our Twitter page for all of these regular special broadcasts we're doing here at CES but as always this is the Peggy Smedley show the podcasting voice of IOT and relevant technology and remember with great technology comes great responsibility and we'll be right back after this quick break